So, I mean, what I like to do is to show that this is has these roots that people can go back to, but then you see it right in your face. Like I saw it on TikTok. When I see it on the people that I'm dealing with, I see Cat Williams go on the Joe Rogan show and talk about the Emerald Tablets mm. and talk about Pymander and Thoth. And I'm like, I've studied that in in a curiosity sense of where where are some of these things coming from? He goes on to Joe Rogan and just starts dropping it like it's a like it. He's he's a believer in in the Emerald Tablets as being the source of all ancient like wisdom literature and or, or and like having it's, it's no knowledge, right? Like we you you remember being taught about the Emerald tab Tablets in government school, right? <laughs> it was like first grade. That was when they taught yeah. us, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, so yeah, the and it's all being presented as being a very sexy counterculture revolutionary sort of change in our thinking where, and that's what bothers me as somebody who's talks in the alternative media space, like you do and like uh, geopolitics and empire. And, you know, so these, these guys that I respect and we talk about these things um, there's a very low literacy rate on this material. Mm. And so it's very easy to have somebody come on and start talking about these things. Like, like everybody who's listening to this has probably listened to at least one podcast where a guy just comes in and starts casually dropping references to ancient civilizations, maybe, um, you know, probably not the Emerald tablets. That's kind of a deep cut, but, uh, you know, something equivalent to that, these different ancient schools of thought and, they really had it. They really understood. And how did they build the pyramids? And actually there was this, you know, mystical practices they used to see these things and to align it with the stars. And then once you start getting into how the pyramids are aligned with the stars, then you get into the procession of the equinox and how it does change from one age to another, the age of Taurus and the age of Capricorn. And now we're in the, we're approaching the age of Aquarius. And so just, you can jump into almost any point and follow the rabbit trail and you'll end up back at the Aquarian conspiracy because that's the design. That's how it's functioned. 